Hello, hello, this is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, coming to you today with the Diabetic Minute for everyone who wants to get and stay healthy. And today we're going to talk about nutrition myths, things, ideas that are out there that we think we know what's good or what's bad, and we don't. <laughs> when you go through magazines and look through websites, scroll through social media, you're going to see endless information on nutrition and health. And mostly, it's incorrect. Okay? Even health professionals spread misinformation these days. So, how do you know what's good or what's not good? Well, I'm going to give you 20, actually, 20 myths that we're going to bust up today to help you to know what's best for you. So the first one is calories in and calories out. That's how you judge your diet. You know, you take in this many calories, you burn this many calories, which should be more, and you will lose weight. Well, you will lose weight, but don't necessarily keep that weight off. And there may be reasons you don't lose weight even doing that. It could be your hormones or hyperthyroidism or metabolic issues, medications you take, genetics. There are so many things that can play into that. Number two, high fat foods are bad for you. Well, that is wrong. Many are very nutritious and healthy for you and even essential for optimum health. Three. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. You have to eat breakfast. Well, that's been around a long time. I even feel like you have to eat breakfast. But guess what? You don't have to eat breakfast. Okay? It, it is important, but some people like breakfast later in the day. So it's really like lunch, right? <laughs> so that's okay because there are healthy benefits if you do eat breakfast in the morning and there are healthy benefits if you don't. You like intermittent, intermittent fasting. A lot of people don't eat their breakfast, okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to eat breakfast. You have to know what's best for you. If you're diabetic, it may be best. All right, number four, small frequent meals during the day is better than three big meals. Well, that is definitely good for some people. Diabetics benefit from that, I think. But it's not necessary for everyone. Some people are fine with having three meals a day. It works. Or two meals a day. You know, we all, and this is the, the frustrating part for all of us, is we have to find out what's right for us, for our health, for our issues. We have to figure it out. Nobody's going to lay it out in front of you. Uh, number five, non-nutritive sweeteners are healthy. We should have those, right? Well, actually, they may increase your risk of type 2 diabetes, guys. And they can change, negatively change your gut bacteria. So non-nutritive sweeteners, those are the things that are created and they don't have any benefit to them. Use a natural sweetener, okay? Honey. Uh, maple syrup, uh, stevia, something like that. But these other sweeteners that man has created also create you problems, okay? Um, macronutrient ratios are more important than the, the actual diet you eat. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong again, okay? Um, Micronutrients can help you to monitor what you're eating, but it's much more important that you're getting a balanced, nutritious diet than what the, what the macro ratio is, okay? White potatoes are bad. I know that my sugar goes up if I eat white potatoes, okay? I'm a diabetic. If you're not a diabetic, then white potatoes may be very good for you. They're actually extremely nutritious and... Remember, though, they're best roasted or baked, not fried. <laughs> All right. Low-fat diets are the healthiest. Actually, they're less healthy, okay? Because, um, I mean, low-fat foods, excuse me, not diets. Because the foods that say low or no fat, guess what? 
when they take something out, they put something else back in so that you'll still eat it. And mostly that's sugar and salt. So in the long run, they are not your friend. Go for the full fat. Go for it. It's better. Supplements are a waste. Waste of money. Waste of effort. Diet is always going to be your most important um, thing to watch. What are you eating? Are you eating the right things? But sometimes we don't get enough of the right vitamins and supplements are actually extremely healthy. Uh, again, for diabetics, you're looking at cinnamon and vitamin B and a number of other vitamins that will help you because you're not getting them regularly in your diet. So you have to kind of know what you're getting. Low cal diet is best, All right? That low calorie, right? It just if I eat less calories, I'll lose weight. Well, you might, <laughs> but uh, it can lead to metabolic adaptations in your body that make it hard to maintain that weight, and if you put on more weight, more difficult to take it off again. Low cal diet would be my least last choice. Skinny is the only healthy. If you're not skinny, you're not healthy. Well, that is so wrong. Your healthy body weight is up to what's going on with you, okay? Um, there are some people that have to be really thin to, to be healthy, for things to be working right. There are other people who can be heavy and still be very healthy. So don't let the, the figure... <laughs> Don't let that throw you off, guys. Don't let that throw you off. You do not have to be skinny to be healthy. Matter of fact, I know a very skinny guy who developed type 2 diabetes. So being skinny isn't the, the cure-all for everything, okay? Um, calcium supplements are uh, good for your bone health. Well, actually, tests are showing that in some people, they can actually do more harm than good. And that just to say that everybody should take a calcium supplement so your bones are stronger, like as you get older, that is not correct. That is not correct. It is not a one size fits all. And you need to talk with your doctor before you worry about taking a calcium supplement. Fiber supplements. Okay, fiber supplements can help to get enough fiber into your system, but they are not a substitute for the good food that gives you fiber. You're always best to eat the good foods. And I just did a diabetic minute about good, rich fiber foods. Look for it because that'll give you a lot of good ideas. Um, smoothies and juices are healthy. Well, duh, it depends on what you put in them. <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of them are way heavy sugar and calories, especially the ones that you buy at the store. Okay. They're not, no, they're not healthy just because it says smoothie, okay? Um, or juice. Everybody needs probiotics. No, no, no. Some of us, our gut system's working just fine, and you add probiotics to that, and now you've messed up the whole system, and you've got some issues. Guys, you don't need probiotics unless you're having issues, Okay, and then again, talk to your doctor about that first. Um, if you're having, if your digestive system is having some trouble, if it's struggling, maybe it's good to take some. But again, guys, don't just listen to the to the um, the shouting out there because, as I said in my intro, it's a lot of misinformation. Uh, weight loss is easy. How many of you have heard people say that? Oh, yeah, it's easy to lose weight. Just, you know, cut back. Well, I'm here to tell you <laughs> it is difficult for most of us, okay? It is not easy. It requires consistency. It requires self-love. It requires hard work. And it definitely requires patience. You have to be able to get through the plateaus. Guys, losing weight is anything but easy. It's the reality. I'm never going to try to sugarcoat something for you. It's hard to do, but you can do it. You can do it, okay? All right, so tracking calories and uh, macros 
is what you need to do to lose weight. Guys, it's not necessarily true. It may help you. Some of that may help you. Uh, but if you do it too much, if you're too intense about it, you're worried about every piece of food that goes in your mouth, well, guess what? You could end up with an eating disorder or a tendency towards that. So you got to be careful. So um, let's see. What else have I got here for you? We're on number 18. High cholesterol food is bad for you. Well, it can be good for you, actually. Think about it. Eggs, yogurt. There are foods that are high in fat or cholesterol, but they're still very good for you. So be selective. Yeah, I can't cover everything in this minute, but um, I do segments on all these different parts to help you know what is healthy and high fat foods, all those kind of things. Eating disorders are only women. Women are the only ones um, who have a problem. That's wrong too. Actually, men and women have eating disorders. For men, it presents differently and it's mostly in younger men and adolescents. And last but not least, carbs make you gain weight. Well, I've been fighting this a lot. High fiber carbs are awesome. They're good for you. Um, produce, um, healthy fats, proteins, they're all good for you guys. Just because it's a carb doesn't mean that it's bad for you. We have to get that notion out of our head. There's some people who are scared to death to eat any carbs. And guess what? Your brain needs carbs to function. Um, do you have to eat protein right after your exercise? The general belief is that you eat some carbs before you exercise um, and protein will help you to build that muscle back up afterwards. That's something I have not researched, so I don't want to say one way or the other, but I think probably the going belief would be good. <laughs> I just, today I want you to focus on that fact that the nutrition world is full of misinformation. It leads to confusion, frustration, and distrust. We don't trust what they're telling us because they're not always telling us the right thing, right? And nutrition science is changing constantly. They're, they're constantly saying something different. Our power comes from knowing and being able to separate fact from fiction so that you can feel empowered to develop a healthy, nutritious diet that works for you. And that's what it's all about, finding what works for you. I hope you will share this information today. I hope you will subscribe wherever you are listening. I hope I found you safe. I hope I found you well. And as always, truly hope I found you happy. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. May God bless and keep you until we connect again. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.